Oh, more updates on this amplifier. I can't let it go. <laughs> All right. Um, speaking to somebody on the forums and a little bit of information was given that we can uh, install a another switch. We're going to call it a high and a low switch. What we have done is we've lifted this resistor, this 5 watt resistor, removed it from the board, put a wire into the board where the leg went, put a wire to the other connection, run it down to a switch, and let's have a look. So if we put it on here, that should be normal TX. So we're going to look at the RevX meter. It's on 200 watt mode. So let's have a look. Testing one, two, one, two, one, two. You can see the 100 watt mode, 100 watt scale. It's just rate peaking on about 80 watts. Torque power. All right. We're going to flick the switch over all right we're going to go over here testing one two testing one two testing one two audio well this lamp is quite surprising uh, that's putting out around about 130 watts PEP. All right. So now we have this changes the ballpark. Now we have something that's very very useful. 130 watts SSB AM. I'm not going to try because I don't use AM or CW at this point. All right. Hope you enjoyed that video. Brings an old 70s radio. Um, into modern times thanks guys and thank you tom for your advice it works